Hi, um, this is a video to show you how to collect um, date ranges in a Google form that will be generated to a Google Sheet. And then using this add-on, which is called Calendar Event Automator, um, those date ranges will go to your calendar. Um, I'm going to use this for student pre-excuses. I have a really hard time um, just keeping track of when, um, if I sign a student's pre-excuse um, for when um, that absent actually absence actually is. Um, I'm going to have the kids fill out the form and then that's all um, they need to do. I will still sign their sheet, but this will help me keep track of things. So I've created this Google form. Um, it's specific to what I feel like I need to collect for when a kid is absent. Um, but I, I included a template um, on this um, on this email that I'm sending you, um, and you'll have to make a copy of the form. So when you make a copy of the form, um, it's not collected to my form, it connected to my form, it's not connected to my spreadsheet, it's not connected to my calendar, it'll be all for you. Um, I, in my calendar, I have created a um, student pre-excuse calendar. Um, that's because I, um, want it to be separate from my from my class calendars um, and you can you can see here that I that I have quite a bit um, so um, how this works is you are going to um, click this link the calendar event automator it will bring you to this um, add-on website and this is an add-on for sheets so I'm just gonna hit it's free um, it's going to ask you, um, it might ask you for some permissions. Um, I deleted it and added it back in, so I'm not sure if my permissions um, went, went carried over. Um, and now it's, it's under, yeah, so here's the permissions that it's asking me to run. You've probably... Um, accepted this for other add-ons and extensions in Google. Um, so now, um, under add-ons, it, it'll it show up um, as right here, calendar event automator, okay? So I'm gonna actually close this spreadsheet and I'm gonna work from the spreadsheet that's attached to my Google form. And hopefully everybody knows how to get there. If you don't, please ask, I'm happy to show you how how our responses um, go to your Google Forms um, or go to your Sheets. So I'm in here. I'm going to run this configuration before I put in um, before I put in any um, information into my form. And it's just working. Just takes a minute. Okay, so configure the add-on. Um, this is where you are going to attach what calendar you want it sent to, where you want the responses to be. Um, so here it's going to ask you to select a calendar, okay, and I'm going to select student pre-excused. Um, the form responses, I just, I don't need it to go to another, sh another sheet, but if you had other sheets, other tabs within the sheet, you could, they could go there. Um, I'm going to have it so as soon as that a submission is done by a student um, for their absence, um, then I am going, to, it's going to run on its own. I don't, I don't have to do this. This is the big part. And when you first open it, this is going to be empty. It says event title. What this is, is what the event will be named in your calendar. So you do this by your um, two pointy brackets. You're going to put two of them and then a space. And then I want it to be my my email address column. So um, I'm just going to type in the name of that column. Um, you could highlight it and paste it if you wanted to. You could just type it in um, and then have two closed plenty brackets on the other side. So what that does is it pulls the information from this column. So because my pre-excused Google form um, collects people's the kids' email addresses, that's the information that it's going to pull um, to send to my Google Calendar. Um, then it's going to be the start absent, the start of the absence, the end of the absence, and then some optional event details. Um, at first, um, 
the color, it was coming up random. Um, so it was every every submission I put in, it was a different color. Well, I want mine always to be the same color so it pops out on my calendar. Um, I'm just going to pick banana. Um, but that's where you would do that if you want to. Um, the default will be random. Um, so you might want to change that. Um, and then from there, I'm just going to hit save. Um, I don't really feel like I need any other information. This just for me is to keep track. I can look forward on the date um, to see what kids are absent that week or look for, um, you know, if I have to get kids um, paperwork before they leave, um, that kind of information. So now in the Google form, this is what I'm going to have linked to my website. Um, and so say somebody is missing the entire first week of school, they would go in and put those dates there. Um, again, this other, this right here is really the only stuff that you need to have on your form. You can make it specific to you. All this other stuff is specific to the information that I like to collect when kids are going to be gone um, so that I can keep track of things. Um, so now I'm submitting that and that is going to this spreadsheet. So you can see that it, so say it was um, an, a kid's name, that that's what the email address is. It will not be your email address. It'll be the student who filled out the form's email address. It's just that I'm the one who filled out the address here um, or filled out the form. So now because I've automated this, I don't even need this anymore. Um, and what should happen is that it's going to um, go to my Google form and it takes a few minutes um, you know, probably three or four minutes, but it'll pop up right here. And this right here is that event that's coming from that Google form. So here's my date range, the 26th to the 29th. This is the student that's going to be gone. Um, and then if you want to use this to communicate with the students or have them put it on their calendar, you can, you can do all kinds of editing things, but really this is for me to keep track, um, of that information. So I hope that that, I hope this helps some people out. Um, and if you need help setting this up, if you're intrigued by it, you want to try it, please see me. I'm happy to help you out if you, if you can't do it from this video. Um, thanks for listening.